the 2K Sports Pregame Show, sponsored by Sprite. Hello again, everybody. Welcome to the... Who's <laughs> Ledo? 67. Oh, gosh. Oh, Nowitzki, 88. Oh, yeah. He's going to he's he's gonna be a problem. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I just waiting? Home court belongs to the Timberwolves in this one. As we bring you a Western Conference matchup here, come on, the <laughs> get the ball. Get the ball. The Mavericks are looking to end their road trip here with a strong out. This game's going to be a challenge for them. facing one of the top tier teams in the league. They'll have to be at their best to steal a win here. Well, they face these guys just once more after tonight. And since they dropped the first game to them earlier, I think they need to win this one. Well, stop Nowitzki. Just to get their confidence. Are you going duck? No. Yeah, I think they'll have a little bungee cord in their step, a little extra bounce and elasticity. They do not want to lose back-to-back -back games to this team, especially having only one more game to play against them this season. Now a chance, Curtis oh, Curtis nice strong edge. Up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. On the court for the Mavericks. Dirk and Chandler up front. Jameer Nelson is out there with Ricky Lito, and it's Parsons in at the three spot. Here's Nowitzki. After the made shot no, the no, game. don't leave him open. Well, he's off to a good start, and he's a guy who we know. I mean, if he gets going early, he can give you problems all day. We wonder when you look back at it, just how significant a win. Oh, come on. Should have got to that. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. And Thompson kicks to Dragic. Lopez, a screen on Dragic. Dragic dishes to Anderson. Buries oh, green. Anderson's got himself on the board with three there. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. Nelson against Dragic. Nelson kicks to Nowitzki. Six on the shot clock. And Dallas again with the bucket. Oh my gosh, come on. He can make plays from multiple spots on the floor. Put the isolated cam on him. Lopez sets a screen for Dragic. Ooh. Just about two minutes into the game, first quarter of basketball. He was all alone on that. What one. shot, come on. Anderson's got six. <laughs> Boy, they are locked and loaded early. Three for three. Nelson against Dragic. Now here's Nowitzki. He's guarded closer. Now here is Nelson. Playing Memphis, he was nearly unstoppable. Oh. Oh, come on, get to that. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. What is that? Red hot, right out of the gates. Four for four shooting. Minnesota's gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Lopez, a screen on Nelson, and it's Dragic off the drive. Shots good by Middleton. Nice. To give him that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to fight over the top of that. Now, here is Nelson, right now averaging 11 points a game. He kicks it to Chandler. Good, and a nice assist from Nelson. Chandler's got his first points in this one. You know, when he gets the ball that close to the basket, it's almost an automatic two points. Well, the defense has to battle him down there and keep him out of position in the first place. Do your work early. Dishes to Thompson. Kicks to Middleton. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Anderson, a screen on Nelson. And it's Dragic off the drive. And he tries on oh, the play. Oh, come on, Dragic. First miss of the game after four <laughs> makes, so it's been a hot start. Nowitzki sets a screen for Parsons. The no, why am I on Parsons? Oh, why is he open? And Dallas again with the bucket. Oh, and they are Lotto is 67. Right really flowing well. 
Minnesota's gone three of three from deep. Nine points sprung up from outside here in the first. And it's Dragic off the drive. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. Oh, come on, Clay. Come on. The Mavericks have gone a perfect six for six in the game up to this point. Nelson against Dragic. Nowitzki with the screen on Dragic. Lock at six. Nelson kicks to Chandler. And he dunks it oh. None of the defenders Good pass. Had Good pass. Part to do with him on that jam. And I do not blame him at all, <laughs> partner. He was coming in with a bunch of steam and was ready to posterize whoever decided to get in his uh, way. All right, I understand, fellas, but come on. You've got to challenge him. Nice, Clay. Come on. Defense just has to fight over the top of those screens, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, he doesn't miss too many open shots. Now, here is Nelson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game oh. for him. Their low post defense has to show some improvement, guys. Yeah, the, of the last 10 points, Steve, eight have come from in tight. Nelson against Dragic. And he gets it. Come on, Dragic. Well, I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. The Mavericks leading. Well, certainly a story here at the Target Center is the ongoing $100 billion. Oh, my. Split 50-50 between the team and the city of Minneapolis. That's great news for Timberwolves fans. And you look at the long list of improvement. Come on. New lobbies, new box office, renovated locker rooms, new clubs and gathering areas. Seems like they're getting great bang for their buck. And guys, it can be tough to see teams pressuring cities for new arenas. Nice that the Timberwolves can stay put and still get those improved. Absolutely, Kevin. You know this building yeah, has good bones, nice. a great location, so it's a pleasure to see the transformation they're making here, and we're already starting to see some of the results of that. And so here is Dallas after the basket by Minnesota. Out to the wing. Stolen by Thompson. Oh, nice, Clay. Clay, nice. Rockets the pass to Thompson. Oh, that's good defense. Yeah, what the hell? Anderson, that's really good defense. No, oh, what Nelson. was that? Come on, right. Off the drive. Misses from short range. That's terrific defense right there. To that's disgusting. From converting in close. And the basket by Nowitzki. Oh, duck. Kind of Come on. They're a really hard team to beat. So the Timberwolves called their first time out. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. Yeah, it took some time. Uh, this was not an easy win, but mark it down in the W column. Yeah, and it was impressive, Steve, the way they handled their business in the overtime. I mean, they had a lot left in the tank. Middleton can't get it to go. That's, oh, that is disgusting. He usually knocks that one down with ease. And Parsons slams it in. My. The indication there of why the scoreboard looks like it does. Very passive defense. But the finish was anything but passive. No, he, he hammered that down, Clark. Superb above the rim action. Great open look there. Thompson's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, this game is off to a terrific start. No doubt. On both sides, high octane offense. Over to the wing. Where are you going, Duck? Oh, he's too good. Oh my gosh. Nelson's got six assists here tonight. Looking at Dallas, they took that win in their last game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Well, that one was a very physical game, and it played right into their hands. You know, a lot of their points came at the foul line. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it also led to a lot of foul trouble for some of the key guys they were up against. So don't forget about that part of it either. And here's Nelson after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Chandler with a screen for Nelson. Nowitzki outside. And it's Dallas with another. Ah, Nowitzki, just leave me alone. Eight of his field goals to start this game. Steve, he's come out smoking. I mean, scoring with such ease and fluidity. And it's Dragic off the drive. Thompson misses. He certainly didn't come take on, Clay. Poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure, because this guy's too good of a shooter to miss that look consistently. Now here's oh Levinsky. gosh, why am I? 17 points in the game. Shot clock at six. Where are you going? 
That's good. Great defense. Oh my gosh. Dallas lead. Never mind. They're perfectly content to keep going to that mid-range jumper. If the defense is going to give it to them, they'll take it all day. Yeah, why not? I mean, you, you have to just take what's there. And as long as you're moving the ball and getting good shots, that's all that matters. Trogic gets the ball. Oh, nice, Trogic. Rhythm this quarter. He's got a nice group. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Goran Trogic, nicknamed Goji, grew up in Slovenia. His mom played hoops. His dad played soccer. Goji started out playing soccer, but when he hurt his leg, his mom said, no more of that pitch stuff. You're going to the round ball and the hard No, oh, so what? Wow. I'd have to say it's worked out pretty well. Good call by mom on that, too. Here's Kanan after Dirk Nowitzki's bucket. Out to the right wing. Here's Levine. He's covered by nice one, Levine. Oh, Nice. <laughs> Reverse windmill slam to be exact, Clark. Crazy finish. Oh, man, he reached deep into the bag of tricks for that one. Nowitzki up top. Pass to Barsons and stolen by Jang. There's Levine and a beautiful feed leads to a monster. It's in Levine. Come on. The kind of moment you love to see. Excellent defense. Leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you gotta marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. Yeah, turning defensive pressure into offensive. Nice defense. defense. Come on. That's what it's all about. Minnesota with the ball. Dirk Nowitzki unable to get his shot to go. There's the pick. Here's Kanan. An easy, easy. Air coming off the pick. Now just a one point Maverick lead. <laughs> And they're beginning to fall apart a little bit defensively, especially inside. Well, that's four straight buckets now at the rim. Aminu dishes to Parsons. Connects on the open J. Parsons got eight points. Yes. Such a great start for him. Four for four already. He could be on his way to a big game. It certainly looks that way, Steve. His energy level has been terrific right from the opening tip. Here's Kanan. Last game he had 12. A shot by Thompson. No one's around. Nice play. He's got 10. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, defense did not look very good there. Nowitzki and good. Oh, come on. From Devin Harris. What is that? And that's now 21 points for Nowitzki. And the Timberwolves with possession. Last time they met was in Dallas where they beat the Mavericks. Yeah, they really had their number in that game. Big margin of victory for them. They got there by really including their bench. The depth became a major factor. They, they just oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's the way to get some I mean. momentum on your side. Absolutely. Those dunks can really have a deflating effect on the defense. Especially coming from a guy out of the backcourt. Here's Aminu. That's good defense. What Steve just talked about regarding how much they spread their scoring around was probably the most striking thing about that big win. And the fact that they did have such a huge lead allowed them to even use their bench a little more than normal. Oh no. Oh, dang, can she? Okay. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. Nowitzki a screen. Harris kicks to Nowitzki. It's tipped and thrown by Jack. Oh, nice. Here's Kane. And on we go. Now averaging seven points a game. Middleton can't get it to go. Oh, come on, Middleton. Outside, Felton. Right wing. Aminu, the best to Felton. With one on the clock. No good on the clock. Stop him. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. Hey guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for the Timberwolves. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for him early on. Oh come on! Thing we've seen right from the oh wait, guys, he's a munchkin. Willingness to drive the lane, get penetration, and challenge this defense. Ah, oh, Mia. They've got Clint oh, Thompson. Oh, the munchkin. Gorgie Dang is out there with Chris oh, nice. Wilson. Then there's Isaiah Kim, and it's Levine, and it's the shooting guard. So that's the Timberwolves five. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. 
Oh, I left them open. Oh, wow, he's trash. Nice. I take the foul. Gentlemen, as you know, Andrew Wiggins was taken as the first overall pick of a talented 2014 class, but should have no problem with the pressure. He's been hyped as the next big thing for quite some time. He said, I think playing at Kansas really prepares you for this. You're basically treated like a rock star wherever you go. I think that really translates to the NBA. Gentlemen. Unlimited potential, Doris. Thank you very much. Middle 10. Oh. Middleton can't get it to go. Clark, you look back at some of the big names they were rumored to be in on. Like Darren Williams and Dwight Howard, they, those two names come to mind. And they missed out on them, but they've always been very good about remaining flexible when they need to be with the salary cap. Here's Kanan, guarded by Nelson. Kanan kicks to Hairston. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. They set the pick. Pass to Dang. Nice. He stole. Good. Pistons got his first three points of the game. He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. Nelson dishes to Jefferson. Here's Lido. Oh, Lido's trash. Good defense. Here's Chandler. Oh, what a block. No way. Come on. No way getting the rebound. Minnesota making some changes. Lopez comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Drogic in for Isaiah Cannon. Drogic with it. Nice one, Drogic. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. The second he got around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy dude. Very, very well done. Nelson, the pass to Lito. Chandler is screen. And Jefferson wide open. Oh, he shoots, on. hits it from three point range. Jefferson's got himself on the board with three there. Now, sometimes when you trail, you want to make up that entire oh. deficit with one shot. I think they've got to be more patient. Yeah, there are no home run shots in basketball. I know the three is a big weapon, uh, but all these threes haven't helped their cause. So oh, that was trying to catch easy. Fire from there and just haven't been able to do it. And there it is again. That's where their points have been coming today from the low post. And even under pressure in tight, they've maintained their concentration and converted their opportunities. Now, here is Nelson. He's been patient so far, and nothing yet on the scoreboard. Feeds it to Jefferson. Six to shoot. Jefferson drawn the double team. Here's Lido. Oh! Another three for okay. Seems like guarding him on the perimeter is not a priority for this defense, but it will become one if he continues to knock them down. Lopez, a screen on Nelson. Dragic with it, and it's Nelson picking him up. Dragic. Dragic against Nelson. Dragic gets Easy. Jan. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Dragic has got his eighth assist here tonight. Well, I'll bet his teammates love playing with him. He's distributing the ball. Come on, come on. Well, he keeps everybody happy, and you know what? The assist numbers don't lie. That's good. Lito's got seven points for the quarter. And he's shaken off a poor first quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. And it's Dragic. Easy. Oh, come on, dang. No luck. Dallas is oh. on two for five from three point land since the That's a good shot. Borgie Jane, the Senegalese big man, of course won a national title at Louisville and was really the anchor of that team's on championship defense. Now here's Dragic. He's got eight. He feeds it to Jang. Nice Jang. Nice teamwork to set up the big play and make the space for the Jay. The Mavericks have gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five of ten. Oh! He murdered him. Wow, Drogic went flying on the floor. Good job of spotting his teammate near the basket and zipping the pass right in there. 
Minnesota making some changes. Anderson, he's checked in for Jack. And Daniels subbed in for Hairston. And it's Dragic off the drive. He dishes it to Daniels. Lopez a screen. The kick out to Anderson. One Anderson. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Aminu's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Stop him. The shot by Lido no good. That was a layup. You've got to knock that down. You've got to convert when you get those opportunities. Thompson dishes to Daniels. Lopez a screen. The kick out to Anderson. Nice Anderson. High off the rim and drops. Anderson's got eight points. And that's why teams emphasize the use of screens and picks just to get you some open looks like that one. Well, you know, the Mavericks got back into the playoffs last season after missing the playoffs in 13. This is a team that expects to be a playoff factor. Aside from that one season, they've not missed the playoffs since 2000. Now here's Jefferson, right now averaging five points a game. Lido kicks to Jefferson. No. Nope. Oh, come on. What was that? And you look at the legacy of success for the Mavs. You have to go back to 2000 to find the last time they had a losing season. Even in 2013, in what they term a disappointing year, they went 500 in the cutthroat Western Conference. Pretty impressive. Now here's Dragic. He's got eight. Come on, Clay. Oh, what? Nice open look. Clay no missing good. that. The Mavericks have gone 6 of 12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Nelson, the pass to Lito. No, oh, come on. Stop him. In the corner, it's Jefferson. Upside Jefferson. Oh, nice Steve defense. Lopez. And you look at how much ownership can impact the team's fortunes the first 20 Nice. Don't cut him. But they've done it in every season under current ownership. Well, I know ownership is important, partner, but come on now. They do have Dirk Nowitzki, and he has a lot to do with that <laughs> winning record well as said, well. well. But no said. no question about it. The Mavericks are clearly a first-rate franchise, and everybody from ownership on down can take pride in that. Here's Lido following the bucket by the Timberwolves. No way. Nelson, oh, my. Basket, and the Mavericks lead by one. Clark, a lot of give and take between these sides early. Kevin, how about six lead changes in this half already? Yeah, good one here, guys. This is going to be fun to watch. Two evenly matched teams, oh. teams playing hard. Boy, have they been hitting the glass hard or what? Kind of surprising to such a tight game. Oh, what? will you out-rebound an opponent? Oh. I have it pay off. He's created some good opportunities for himself and made the most of it. And the Mavericks with some changes. Novitski comes in for Chandler. And Parsons subbed in for Al Farouk Aminu. Anderson a screen. Oh, come on. Start. There's a good screen. It's Trogic with the drive. Here's that the news. From outside, off the mark. Boy, they're fortunate. The defense was taking a big chance, leaving him that wide open behind the arc. Parsons sets a screen for Nelson. Novitsky with the screen on Dragic. Here's Lido. The basket good. My gosh, this thing good. Lido's got the lead up to seven now for the man. He is just tearing it up this court. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this high. Someone answered that. Let's go to our 2K leader. That's not even my who. Where you expect to see some high position. And that's just what this group has provided. You take a look at Thompson. Second in the league, extremely accurate from beyond the arc. Well, you don't have to be a great shooter to play two guard, but it definitely helps. And pretty much all these guys fit into that great category. And with any of those guys, when they get on the roll from three point land, I mean, it can last. Nice, right, Clay. We're talking a long time. You know, if you were only offensively, you'd think his team would be ahead. Nelson against Dragic. Down low. Oh, come on. Parsons dishes to Nowitzki. Disgusting defense. Right under the rack perfectly for the layup. Nowitzki's got the lead back up to seven now for the man. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Here's Daniels. Oh, Daniels, you're trash. Just an you're disgrace. For them on the boards. Guys, the key to the lead Oof. has been they've dominated the glass. 
message that simple. How about that? Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yeah, you got that right. Well, Dallas coach Rick Carlisle has demonstrated his versatility throughout his coaching season. Okay. Oh, nice. And Dallas, not really a system coach. He adapts to the talent that he has on each individual team and goes accordingly. And here's Nelson after the three-pointer from Clay Thompson. Passes to Lita. Nowitzki with the screen on Anderson. Lito kicks to Nowitzki. Can't get it to go. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. And that game is the second of two straight at home. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing how that New Orleans game turns out for sure. Here is Daniels. Anderson a screen on Nelson. Daniels passes to the Oh, come on. Three off target. Dallas leading by six. Jefferson with it. Now guarded by Dragic. Count that one. Jefferson's got seven. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And it's paid dividend. Yeah, it sure has. Nice. Look at that free. Quick free. They really haven't had to do much on the perimeter. He's picking up right where he left off in the first quarter. 143 left in the first half of the game. Nowitzki a screen. Lito dishes to Nelson. And Jefferson, here we go. Oh, come on, what? Strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Nine points in the game so far. Those defenders look like they're out of gas. I mean, they're getting pushed around on the low block. Well, their energy is lacking. And they've got to start playing harder and battle down in the paint. Nice. He's some more freeze. Got to make a defensive adjustment here because he's just destroying them from three-point range. Well, even when they've closed out on him, Steve, he's knocking them down. Now, here is Nelson. The dish to lead him. Nowitzki a screen. Lido kicks to Nowitzki from 15 feet away. Second chance shot. Oh, look at that, Lopez. Dishes it to Daniels. Oh, come on, Daniels. You can't be. Nice, Dragic. Dragic. Nice Dragic. Get him. Long time if you're waiting for him to miss that when he's that open. We've got 33 seconds Ooh. left in the first half of No way. And all over him. Boy, they were ready for him right there. I mean, totally collapsed the defense on him. Oh, almost I won. Come on, easy clay. Well, you gotta like the free throw shooting from this club all season long. They're shooting 81%. Those are impressive numbers. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Felton comes in for Ricky Lido. And Harris subbed in for Nelson. Harris outside. He kicks it to Nowitzki. No way. Again, oh, wow. Come on, go to that. There's Levine. Oh, -ho. get in. Welcome back, folks. Thank you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports as we get set to get going once again. Hey, during the break, players getting a chance to refuel and hydrate. Rock is on fire. Gatorade, as there is more basketball in store. Dirk Nowitzki having a dominant impact. Come on, Dragic. Oh, he got in. In that first half, his decision-making was really flawless. That being the case, Steve, I think they want him to be more assertive in the second half. Look to take more shots. Be a little more shot hungry. Even the tough ones. Here's who Rick Carlisle is starting the second half with. The forwards are oh my gosh. Ricky Lito is out there at Jameer Nelson. And it's Chandler in at the five spot. Jameer Nelson, a stocky six foot guard. Now in his 11th season out of St. Joe's. College player of the year in the senior season. Thompson misses. The Mavericks trailing. Oh, what? What's that? <laughs> And that one's good. Lito's oh my gosh, what? Is Lido doing that? He's been dead on inside, outside, wherever. The shot's just falling for him. And Clark Nelson on the shorter side for a point guard, but very solidly built. Compactly so, and a really good competitor, smart, tough. 
point guard on the sizes disadvantage defensively but has been a good jump shooter and floor general throughout his career middle 10 nice the last five baskets three of them have been three pointers and it's not just great offense Clark the defense is really lacking not enough energy on their closeouts and it's the Mavericks with the ball Following the three by Minnesota, Lido and another basket for Dallas. Nothing but no way, Lido. Oh my God! Three of their shot attempts. Baggage against Nelson. Kicks it to Thompson. Fires for three, and it's Thompson again missing. You know, nine times out of ten, he's gonna Come on. knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. Nelson, the pass to Nowitzki. Chandler dishes to Nowitzki and he banks in the layup. Nowitzki's got four points in the quarter. Come on, stop him. Has relented a bit in this back and forth affair. Well, eight lead changes, Kevin, so far as the teams are battling it out here in the third. That's all building towards what could be a great finish. This will be fun to watch. Lopez, no luck. Dallas has gone four of eight tonight from three point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Stolen by Thompson. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. Lopez, no luck. For Dallas, they've gotten four of the first. Oh, come on. What is that? 80% since the break. Nowitzki, that's for two. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And that's a shot he had to take. For sure, it was a good decision. Just poor execution. And once again, off. That's his comfort zone. So defensively, really nice job challenging the shot. Jacks up a three. And he gets it to go. Nowitzki, oh, come on. How about the passing? Don't give that open. Without any thought, without any agenda. It's hard to overstate all the points they've scored on assist today. Beautiful to watch. A chance here to take a look at where the Mavericks rank in the NBA currently. Seventh in assists, eighth in steals. And they're in the top half of the league in fewest turnovers. When you can be in that company, you're giving yourself a chance to be a winning team. And the, the top 10 and assist number that you talked about really is what stands out to me. It's a beautiful nice one, Clay. They like to share the ball. They really work hard at the offensive end to make sure they get the best possible shot every time down the floor. With this break, a look at our 2K leaderboard and the top passing centers and power forwards over the course of the past 10 games. And you look at Anderson, an uncommonly gifted passer. I actually have to answer that call. I'm and this. of course, Brook Lopez. Nelson against Dragic. Nelson gets to Parsons. Now the feed to Lido. Here's Nowitzki. Falls back and drains the fadeaway jumper. Nowitzki's got oh my. now in just the second half. Anderson a screen on Nelson. And it's Dragic off the drive. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right. Easy. Back. The second he got Good. around the pick and shook his man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very, very well done. Chandler with a screen for Nelson. Nobody near Parsons. The basket good off the assist from Nelson. And it's 13 points for Chandler Parsons. Timberwolves trail by four. Lopez, a screen on Nelson. Rogic kicks to Middleton. And the Timberwolves take it. Dragic spreads that ball around. Dallas has gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Out to the wing. Nowitzki with the screen on Thompson. Here's Lido. Another three for Dallas. That's two bombs in a row from long range. No way. Oh, come on, Lido. Ah, oh, Lido. Rogic against Nelson. Rogic kicks to Thompson. Anderson outside. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Lopez sets a screen for Dragic. Out to Thompson. Just five on the clock. And again, Minnesota with the triple. This is great. Three pointers. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, it took them no time to answer back on that possession. Nelson kicks to Nowitzki. Back to Nelson for the three. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Lopez has got his fourth rebound in this one. Out left to the Gosh. wing. Middleton the pass to Dragic. On the wing, Thompson. 
There's the screen. It's Anderson with the drive. Lopez. Oh, shot that. That's just a case of two teammates Easy. perfectly together. Scout. Setting the screen and the other using it to get that separation. And Nelson gets it to go. Nelson's got his second basket of the night. Oh, come on. The Timberwolves have gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. Rogic kicks to Anderson. And there's the foul. It's on Ricky Lito. Gorgi Dangs checked in for Minnesota. Kirsten comes in for Ryan. Come on. The Mavericks also with a sub. Al Farouk Amini. He's checked in for Dirk Nowitzki. And it's Trogic off the drive. Parsons against Kirsten. The Timberwolves need to get Oh the my ball. gosh, what? Thompson misses. This quarter has not been his best. The defense Monclay. is starting to affect him a little bit. Nelson kicks to Lito. And it's good. Well, that shot keeps him at 100% from the Oh my god, terrible defense. Timberwolves trail by four. It's Trogic with the drive. Pass to Hairston. Pass to Middleton. There's the triple. And he gets the bucket. Middleton's got 13 points. He's come out here. Oh, Boom. Nice job. Moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. And here's Nelson. He's got five. The pass to Parsons. Rebound, Minnesota. Thompson in the corner. Yeah, you trash. Feeds it to Dragic. He dishes it to Jang. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. And another three for Minnesota. That's his sixth three. Oh, three. three. Dallas has gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. People knew that he could shoot the ball coming out of college, but I don't think teams knew that Clay Thompson would develop into the dead eye shooter that he's become. He is a flat out laser, and he can go to get into zones where he just doesn't miss. No, open or well guarded. Rogich against Nelson. Here's Hairston. That's it coming off an assist from Rogic. Houston's got eight. These defenders are putting oh. up very little resistance to the three-point shot. And it's killing him. That's four of the last five baskets they've allowed have been three-pointers. Nelson dishes to Chandler. He feeds it to Parsons. Chandler is screen. Pass to Lee. Nelson outside. Just five on the clock. Left side Chandler. Good. He's got eight. The defense pretty much helpless there, stopping that layup. I oh, come on. Too much of a mismatch in terms of height. Outside Dragic. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Boy, nice work inside. Tough to get that shot. Nice, Dragic, come on. Like that. Oh, that takes skill and creativity, Steve. Um, particularly on the release to make sure he doesn't get a hand on it. Chandler with a screen for Parsons. To the paint. Cuts off the pass. Rogic kicks to Hairston. It's stolen by oh. What? Rogic, come on. Well, their plan of attack has been pretty clear to see. I mean, get the oh, it got me nice. Just take it strong to the hoop. Be dominant. The the well, the defense has been very slow to adjust. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. And the shot is good. 18 points for Gordon Dragic. I'll tell you what, the first half may have been a little slow, but both clubs really picking up the intensity here in the second. I'll say that's for sure. I mean, things have really ramped up here. Now here's Parsons. 13 points in the game. Out to Nelson. Five on the clock. And the rejection by Jang. And even three on three break. What are you doing? You trash. No good from Hairston. Mavericks trail by three. And even three on oh, wow. three break. Never mind. And stolen by Jang. And now the Timberwolves on the break. 
Oh yes, come on, go, go, Hairston. I'll take the foul. Get my putting up 22 points per night, six assists and three rebounds. The points have been coming for him at a prodigious rate. Oh my exactly gosh, come on, play. Scoring ability and his drive. Yeah, and that's exactly what he is, a driven player, Steve. Someone who can take an opposing defense and just shatter it with his ability. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Bean comes in for Hairston, and it's Cannon in for Goran Dragic. Oh. Here's Kanan, guarded by Harris. Kanan, the pass to Levine. And Thompson kicks to Kanan. An easy layup after coming off the pitch. Kanan's got five. Easy. 59 seconds left to play here in the third. Harris outside. Outside Felton. Now the dish to Parsons. Good. And a nice assist from Felton. And that's 15 points for Chandler Parsons. You know, they've been so effective when they've been able to get the ball inside. Some real shortcomings from this defense. I mean, they've given up five straight looks in the paint. And he converts the layup. Maverick's trailed by four. And a two-for-one opportunity. Yeah, they've got to hurry. Step on the gas here. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Harris dishes to Aminu. And he gets it to go. Aminu's got four points in the quarter. Nicely done. They just continue to dominate inside. That's ten points in a row in the lane. It's now purely here it comes. See if you can stop it. Here's Kanan. He gets it up. Got it off in time, but it's no good. Ah, oh, my bad. And at the close of the third quarter. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. How about the creativity? Guys, terrific vision to pick out that pass and set up the basket. Some serious creativity. We've got Cannon. Anderson is out there with Chang. And it's Daniels in at the three. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Unstoppable offense from both teams. I love the pace this game has been played on. So does everybody else in the building. This has been a fun one. Here's Kanan, Levine, the 19-footer on the money. Nice. And the Timberwolves lead by two. <laughs> and he was one step ahead of the defense when he fired that pass for the assist. Nowitzki sets a screen for Felton. We got Nowitzki, trash come on. Nowitzki right side, the 17-footer. Stop him. Oh, no good. Nice. And Minnesota Continue. now the other way. To the left oh, side lane. So slow. Bean passes to Anderson. Nice Trace screen. Now it's a five-point Minnesota lead. Mm, they are killing them with that three-point shot here in the second half. Well, the defense fully stretched out trying to stop that shot and still not able to get it done. Now here's Felton. Here's Novitski. Parsons trying to break loose. Novitski. Oh, good Novitski. defense. Look at that. By five. And Daniels. And that one's good. Oh, Daniels. Nice. Daniels. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Parsons right side. Inside to Jefferson. Oh my day. They can't stop the rim oh, with that trash. one. They still couldn't finish, even though it looked like he had a lane to the rim. But too often that's the story for him. Daniels kicks to Levine. They set the pick. Up off the screen. Easy. And he comes off the screen, spins it through. Good work. Tack some more points onto this lead. Those are the kind of possessions they can build on and begin to pull away here. Lopez, he's checked in for Jang. And Dallas also making a switch. Chandler's checked in. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Yes, thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Rick Carlisle was saying to the team. He is not happy with their perimeter defense, saying, guys, way too many open shots for them beyond the three-point line. We've got to press up closer and try to crowd them off the arc. Guys, we'll see if they got the message. 
Here's Levine after Dirk Nowitzki's bucket. Lopez a screen on Harris. Way to play Easy. attack mode and get inside. And you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, make sure it's a good one. They did preventing the and one. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Minnesota. Well, I got to say one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent penetration they've got. Well, their passing uh, continues to be outstanding, Clark. In the second half, we were really seeing a good, efficient offense as a result of that ball movement. Boy, that was impressive, Clark. He did not hesitate to take the ball right up against the bigger defender. Boy, I like that aggressive mindset there, Steve. Here's Levine. Anderson is screen on Harris. Levine passes to Anderson. Brooke Lopez, an elite scoring big man. Tremendous size and shooting touch. He might be the best low post scorer in the NBA. And for Brooke Lopez, always gifted offensively. That's a given. And where he's improved, I think, is in his defense and rebound. It takes a lot of effort nice. to move that okay. big body around, but he's made that commitment to really get after it, and it shows. Well done again. He doesn't have the same problems at the line that plagues some of the NBA's other big men. And he gets it to go. 19 points for Chandler Parsons. He's been a bright spot for them. He's had an incredibly efficient offensive performance. Steve, his shooting really has been just terrific. They'd be much worse off if it weren't for him, that's for sure. And there's Daniel. That's good on the assist by Cannon. Daniels has got the lead up to nine now for the Timberwolves. And Lopez, over seven foot tall, 275 pounds, guys. Not especially. Stop him. And that can leave him, Steve, sometimes vulnerable defending away from the rim. Yeah, that's why a lot of teams try to put him in pick and roll on the perimeter, just to test his agility and try to get by him to get into the paint. Here's Levine after Dirk Nowitzki's bucket. The Green. basket by Kanan. Mavericks trail by nine. Harris dishes to Parsons. Whoa. Off target from outside. Kind of rare Trash. to see him come up empty on a wide open look. Anderson a screen on Harris. Levine kicks to Daniels. And another three for Minnesota. Whoa. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket. Right in the shooting pocket. For a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. Yeah, it's something we haven't seen much of at the other end of the floor. And out of bounds, wow. the Timberwolves gain possession. Lito's checked in for Dallas. Nelson comes in for Harris. Here's Levine. Dishes to Cannon. They set the pick. He kicks it to Daniels. And again, it's Minnesota. Nice. Well, it's been a nice. Two halves, hasn't it, guys? After a terrible first half, he's really picking it up. Now Nelson. Nowitzki a screen. In the corner, Parsons with it. Lido, the pass to Parsons. Kicks it to Lido. They need this. Here's Chandler. Nice work on the board. It's paying off oh, the basket. It just seems like they're finding an open lane to the hoop every time down. It's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Here's Levine. The kick out to Lopez. From seven, and again, it's been a solo. You know, I'd like to see more of that from him. He's been passing up his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones he takes. He's got to be more aggressive. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Nowitzki sets a screen for Nelson. Cranes the three-pointer. Oh, Great game my. for him. Double-double now. Nelson. Ten points and 15 assists. Here's Levine, guarded by Nelson. Off the screen. Oh, nice, Levine. Oh, the defense looking a little bit dazed now. A ferocious throw down there. Not bad for a player of his size. Not bad at all. How about that spring coming out of those legs? Now, here is Nelson. Parsons outside. From the arc. Another three for Dallas. The defenders need to talk to each other. The communication lacking there on that three-pointer. Here's Levine, guarded by Nelson. Levine kicks to Kanan. Pass to Levine.
Now the feed to Daniels. Six on the shot clock. Lopez, a screen on Parsons. Three-pointer. The second chance effort, and it's blocked. You know, normally oh, come on. dominate on the glass, it really shows up on the scoreboard, but not so much here today. You're right, Steve. Typically, it is a good barometer that indicates who's winning, but not so. Now, here's Chandler. That's Davinsky at the elbow. And Dallas again with the bucket. He's got a lot of momentum going with his own game. It's been great today and just as hot as he was last time out. Anderson a screen on Nelson. Levine kicks to Kanan. Misses the three. Mavericks trail by eight. Nelson outside. Pass to Lita. Nowitzki a screen. In the corner, Parsons with it. And a oh. foul call on the shot. Got him oh. all the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Chandler Parsons signing a three-year, $46 million contract offer with the Mavericks. This past offseason, called everyone expecting him to get a nice raise, but he's making max-type money. Sometimes it's a matter of timing, Kevin. The Mavs clearly value him highly, and at the same time, they weaken a division rival, so it's a win-win as far as they're concerned. Here's Nelson. After the made shot from Clay Thompson, Novitski shots good. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. Timberwolves leading by seven. Lopez sets a screen for Dragic. One Dragic. On the pick plug, he lays it in. Dragic has got 10 points in just the second half. Dallas has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Nowitzki a screen. Now here's Parsons. The tray. No way. By the Timberwolves. Dragic has got his third rebound tonight. And there's the pass to Middleton. Lopez, a screen on Nelson. And Middleton kicks to Anderson. A shot by Thompson and no one's oh, around. Good on the triple. And it's a 12-point Minnesota lead. They have got to get a hand in his face. I mean, he's unconscious from out there. Rogic against Nelson. Feeds it to Nowitzki. The basket good off the assist from Nelson. Nowitzki's got 42 in the game. What a quarter for him at the offensive end. He's ignored the scoreboard and continued to go out there and do his thing. Dragic dishes to Middleton. And another three for Minnesota. Nice. They are wreaking havoc on him with the three-point shot here. Lazy perimeter defense. Clark, you got to take the shooter's airspace away from him. Here's Nelson. Nowitzki a screen. Nelson the pass to Nowitzki. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. He's simply a machine at the offensive end. I wonder how far behind they'd be if he wasn't having this kind of force. It's Trogic with the try. It's too easy. And it's good. Trogic has got 22 points. They've built this lead through plays exactly like that. He's easily been their most consistent performer. Well, he's been splashing everything today. Now, here is Nelson, and Novitsky wide open, he fires, and Dallas again with the bucket. Well, with his team struggling, he is taking it upon himself to get them back into this game. Outside, Dragic. Into Brook Lopez. Oh. Back to Dragic. Just five to shoot, and Anderson has it in the corner. And another three for Minnesota. Oh, what a shot. Spreading the floor and letting it fly, really knocking it down from outside. And I love that gunslinger's mentality, Steve. Playing the win as opposed to playing it safe. I call it Left him out. offense when you try to protect the lead. Let it fly, let it fly, let it fly. Rogic gets to Middleton. Anderson a screen on Parsons. Middleton dishes to Thompson. And the Timberwolves check on two more. Oh, he watch. really oh. punished these defenders today. No matter who's been on him, he's been given a medicine. Mavericks trail by 13. 
Chandler with a screen for Nelson. He dishes it to Nowitzki. Good, and a nice assist from Nelson. Oh, my. Nowitzki's got 51. And he has been their unquestioned leader offensively this quarter. So now just watching the clock wind down in what will turn out to be a win here for the Timberwolves. They had a fantastic play from the bench. Yeah, they did. Their depth is really one of their greatest attributes. And so check it out. They're running no tonight. That'll mark win number 32 overall. This win will give them victories in each of the first two games of this season series in the end. Come on. This game turned out to be just a continuation of what we've already seen. Yeah, they've got their sights now set on a three to nothing sweep. And given what's going on in the first two games, that's probably what will happen. Well, second chance points are not easy to come by. But when you work as hard as he has today, it becomes a lot easier. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Gorky Dangs checked in for Lopez. Hairston comes in for Ryan Anderson. Daniels, he's checked in for Thompson. And it's Isaiah Cannon in for Goran Dragic. Daniels with it, defended by Nowitzki. Six to shoot. Cannon, the pass to Daniels. And Nowitzki with the block. And they force the shot clock violation. Great deal. And the Mavericks call time here. They're losing by 10. 16 seconds left to play here in the fourth. What's your take, guys? Well, this one's out of reach, so I'm not sure why they're calling the timeout here. Maybe just to try to work on something, maybe an out-of-bounds play or something. Well, they might as well talk about what movies they want to see or what they want to surf on the Internet because this one's done, boy. So it's Minnesota winning this one easy. And this yes, guys. I'm nice. 54. 54. Oh my. Dirk was all over us. 36 year old. 54. Claim it 34. I won't play it again.